In this video, we'll look at whether Na2SO4, sodium sulfate, is ionic or covalent. So we look at the periodic table, we find sodium here. Here's sodium. That is a metal. We have two sodium atoms. The SO4 here, we have S, sulfur, that's a nonmetal, and oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So we have two nonmetals here. When we have a metal plus nonmetals, this is going to be an ionic compound. And since it's ionic compound, we should think about the charge on the ions. So sodium here in group one, since sodium is in group one, it has a one plus ionic charge. We just write a plus up here. And we have two of them. Each of them have a one plus charge. For the sulfate, SO4, this is what's called a polyatomic ion. This is a good one to memorize. So for this whole sulfate ion, it's very tightly bonded, so it stays together. And the whole thing has an ionic charge of 2 minus, and that's just something you memorize. So we have 2 minus here, and then we have two positive charges. So the net charge is 0, and we have a positive ion, two positive ions, and this 2 minus ion here. They're going to be attracted. They have opposite charges. The ions are attracted, and they form an ionic bond between the sodium atoms and the sulfate. So Sodium sulfate, Na2SO4, it's an ionic compound. We should talk, though, about the sulfate ion here. So sulfur, we said, that was a nonmetal. And then oxygen, we said, was also a nonmetal. We have four oxygens. So the sulfur is bonded to these four oxygens. They're all nonmetals. When we have nonmetals bonded together, that is a covalent bond, sometimes called a molecular bond. So with the sulfate ion, those are covalent bonds between the sulfur and the oxygen. But the ions, the sodium ion and the sulfate ion, they form an ionic bond. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.